Evening, everybody. It's 625 on this Thursday evening, the 28th, second to the last day of the year for trading. <clears throat> okay. Well, it was a pretty boring day today. Um, the Dow finished up 53 and changed. The NASDAQ finished down $4 and the S&P up a dollar seventy seven. The Russell was down seven dollars and eighty eight cents. That was the biggest loser. And the transports were down twenty three eighty three or point one five. So not very exciting. Um, market internals were even basically one to one on the NYSE. And 11 to 10 down on the NASDAQ. Volume after yesterday's huge day was down 33%, <clears throat> falling from 7.5 billion traded yesterday to 5.1 billion today. As far as the futures went, uh, grains not doing very much except for the wheat which was higher we did in fact put on a trade in weat that's the etf for wheat um, wheat actually closed at 6.31 and a half i'll show you the chart because i think it's really great um, we came down tuesday first day of this week we were up broke out, came back down inside day yesterday, uh, was down on the day, and today was back up. Also an inside day, higher, low, lower, high. The close here, though, was 6.31 and a half. The high close here is 6.36.20. What I'm actually looking for is a break there. We closed right on this green line, which is the 200 day moving average. What I'm looking for is a break above this 642 and a quarter. Um, so we go through 640, close above six, uh, close above six. Thirty six and a quarter and an assault here. After that, uh, we have probably in the neighborhood of uh, 670 or so. Uh, so I'm pretty pleased with that. We'll have to see how that works out. Uh, oil was down hard, which is kind of interesting because the um, oil and the nat gas had drawdowns in inventory. As a matter of fact, um, the oil had uh, a move down. Let's see. Economic calendar. Okay. Uh, 87 million a billion cubic feet of nat gas as a draw and 6.911 million barrels as a draw on the crude. Um, crude, unfortunately, closed down about $2, $2.34. It's up tonight, 33 cents. Heating oil uh, is slightly up. Gasoline is up a penny, and the net gas, which was up 12 cents, is giving back just two of it. Uh, gold was down. We got right up into that um, 2100 area and turned down, closed down 960 at 2083 and a half, uh, down 960, and we are down another 740 here. Uh, so we'll have to see if that holds support. We have the silver down a little. We have the platinum down a little. Um, stock futures are up minorly tonight, not even really worth mentioning. Um, Bitcoin was down six, uh, was down uh, 1,050 after yesterday's being up 1,410 and the day before is being down 1,600. This is a very erratic market now. Um, 
and uh, I was a little surprised, uh, Mara, M-A-R-A, which is Marathon, um, they are a miner of Bitcoin, and um, it was up, you know, it, it's had a huge move higher. It's gone from 8 to 31.30. That's not anywhere near a new high, um, but... Um, it is a recent and recovery high today. It was down 10%, 2797 down 310, which is kind of an outsized move when you consider, uh, you know, the kind of move that we had today in Bitcoin. Um, what is also interesting is that while Bitcoin was down today, Ethereum was actually higher. Uh, bonds were um, down three quarters of a dollar, and that gave some support to the U.S. dollar. Uh, it closed at a hundred spot ninety one. That was up twenty six cents, and, and that's pretty a pretty minor recovery considering how it's come down in the last two and a half or three weeks, all the way from this 104 to today's low, which was uh, 100 spot 32. Okay, um, trade deficit as expected. Claims right in the ballpark, same with continuing claims. Retail inventories came in exactly Oh, I take that back. They were down one-tenth. They were expected to be up one-tenth. Wholesale inventories were down two-tenths. That was exactly as expected. Um, I mentioned one the other night, CING. Uh, this stock has really been flying up. Um, it traded as high as 17.49 in pre-market this morning. And uh, this is uh, the company, it's a biotech, uh, Singulate. And um, as I said, it has come a long way. It was trading uh, two days ago at $1.98. Yesterday, it was up to $3.99 on the close with a high of five ten. This morning, as I said, pre-market, it had traded as high as 1749, although in regular market hours, it only traded as high as 1270. Um, the low was 751, and the last is 797. And, you know, even being almost $5 off the high, it was still up 398 or just short of 100%. Um, cytokinetics, uh, after a huge move yesterday of 82%, today it was basically unchanged, which is to say it didn't give any of it back, which is quite a feat. Most of these smaller biotech companies, um, you know, tend to issue more shares and they tend to lose some of that gain. Uh, Tesla was the biggest loser today in its mega cap sector, but you know, that's after two days of being the number one top gainer. It was down today, $8 and 41 cents or 3.2%. Nova N V F Y. This is a stock that uh, is basically a furniture company. I want to say it's sort of like a, a Wayfair or a Restoration or RH. Um, it was down as low as $1.55 closed there yesterday. That was pretty much a new all-time low. Um, and today it was as high as Eight dollars and seventy-one cents. The low was six eighty-three. The last on that six sixty-one up five oh six or three hundred and twenty-five percent. There is no news on it. Um, I 
couldn't find anything about it except for the fact that it had unusual volume. And uh, when they say unusual, I'll give you a hint here. Uh, it traded today 52.5 million. This is a stock that traded. Its 90-day uh, average daily volume is 587,917. So it traded not 10 times its normal average, but almost 100 times its normal average. And by the way, yesterday's close at 155 with a low yesterday of 150 was in fact an all-time low. Uh, one last one, SIDU. Uh, this is Citus. Now, they are a satellite company. Um, data as a service is uh, what they call themselves. And it didn't have much news except to say that they have a launch coming up in uh, the first quarter being put up by SpaceX. And uh, the stock closed 437 yesterday, got as high as 1540 today on the news, closed 10 and a quarter, and that's up 588 or 135%. The only news uh, that we have tomorrow, economic news, is the Chicago PMI first thing in the morning. Um, I believe that that's a 945 number, so nothing pre-opening. All right, folks, have a good evening. Hope everybody's got big plans for New Year's Eve.